Hello, I'm Barbara Eastwick and today we're going to look at how to make a digital scrapbooking layout using a quick page and the software we're using is called Scrapbook Plus. It's a nice user-friendly software so let's go ahead and get started. You bring up your software and you click on Scrapbooks and up comes the menu. We're going to choose blanks they give you many templates but we want a blank template and a 12 by 12 page and click next. Now we're going to edit and find our quick page so insert graphic from file and I'm using Michelle Underwood's quick pages and just find the quick page you want to use click it once and then click OK then it will load up now we're going to stretch it to full size and in Scrapbook Plus you'll want it to hit the farthest corner and stretch it down to fill the entire 12 by 12 page and that's our quick page. Now we need our photo so insert graphic from file find your photo and click OK. Now we're going to stretch our photo to fill that white space and we're going to stretch it and now we need to turn it a little bit so that it fits inside the white box and that should do it. Now we need to send it backwards so we're going to click arrange send to back and there it is. Now we need to add some text or title certainly. Let's go to our text tools, add your own text and friends at last. You can delete, add, there's even a, a spell check and you can, so many options for your text. I think we need to center it so you highlight it, click center and it'll be black by default or I think this dark rust color would work better. Now this has an automatic stretch feature on the text. If you just take your text box and stretch it, the text itself will stretch uniformly. Now we need a little bit of journaling. So again text tools, add your own text and type in your journaling. Notice I'm putting my spaces where I think I'm going to need them in order for my text to fit inside of my journal block. There. Now I think also I would like it to be centered and then again that dark rust color. Click OK. Put it in my text area, my journal block here off to the side but I'm quickly realizing that centered isn't going to work. I'm going to need to have it right justified. So you double click on it, highlight it, and I'm going to click right justified and see what happens there. Okay, I like that the text is right justified to the photo, but the text isn't fitting the spot right. So I'm going to double click on it again and add the word while over here and put the hyphen in front of the word but on the next line. And that should fill my text area better. There we go. Okay, I can see how this is. Now I'm going to tilt my text to run along the right side the right side of the text is running on the left side of the photo and I'm just going to average it up and move it around and there. Now I need to save it. I'm going to export as image. This will create a JPEG file that I can use online. It's set at 96 but I'm going to put it at 72. That will be a better online size and click Save and save it in the file you wish to save it at and name it and if I were saving it for printing, I would have saved it at 300 dpi and then sent it off to my printers. 